your own research center that you operate at Chalmers Safer um, is built on a strong industry collaboration. Yeah. You have a lot of partners that you work with. Tell us a little bit about how does industry collaboration work? Where do you know, uh, uh, when do you know they're a good collaborator in some way? And uh, when you know, or when do, when do you know that you are really giving them value or how do you, how do you build this collaboration and trust? Yeah, the, the, the Safer Center is it's hosted by our university, Chalmers University. It has um, roughly 40 member organizations today. Okay. And um, these organizations are like the core companies, Volvo, Scania, Volvo Cars, uh, Autoliv is a safety manufacturer and a number of other companies that are and um, supplying the car industry with different types of uh, either in, um, expertise like consultants or, or uh, hardware software that goes into the cars and and the center also has organizations that are research uh, institutes uh, governmental research institutes uh, and other universities apart from Chalmers University we have uh, the Swedish road administration and we have the local uh, city of Gothenburg there, there uh, local uh, yeah local road administration if sure. you like they are also uh, in, involved in this center and uh, the center is it works in that way that uh, it's a way to network between the experts in all these organizations it, it's not a top down Organization. It's not the managers of all these organizations that that meet. It's they allow their staff, their experts, to be part of this network, and uh, they can meet in different constellations and form uh, projects or uh, work um, like working groups. Before it becomes a project, they can have a working group, uh, try to gather as much information uh, that is known about some uh, issue that is remains to be fixed uh, in investigated and uh, yeah so so, uh, so it's uh, maybe a bit unique that you can have people from uh, Volvo trucks and Scania trucks they are really uh, tough competitors but yes. they still allow their engineers to sit down and talk about things that is of their, that, that that are of common interest and that doesn't ex directly influence what their products look like so the the domain that is outside their competitive area there they can actually sit down and, and discuss also with people in the road administration in uh, suppliers etc and form projects to investigate uh, something that uh, uh, yeah that is so interest so we we have um, a project ongoing right now where we have um, both these uh, truck manufacturers and they are looking at the front structure of trucks and, and uh, the basic design of the front structure and how it can be improved to um, make it safer when you have a collision between a passenger car and the truck that's a very mm. dangerous situation still sure. today with all the improvements in crash safety in, in passenger cars it's still dangerous to crash with the truck and they want to uh, improve the situation and they do it together they just look at the basic principles and then the actual implementation in, in the um, truck structure will happen internally and that there they will be competing uh, 